Carvedilol, sold under the brand name Corig among others, is a medication used for treating mild to severe congestive heart failure CHF, left ventricular dysfunction LVD, following heart attack in people who are otherwise stable, and for treating high blood pressure. It is a non-selective beta blocker, alpha-1 blocker and belongs to the third generation of beta blockers. Beta blockers block the beta receptors on heart muscle and other cells, making them more relaxed and less responsive to stress hormones. Carvedilol also blocks alpha receptors, which are found on blood vessels, and relaxes the blood vessels, dilating them, which lowers blood pressure and vascular resistance. Carvedilol was discovered by Fritz Weidmann at Boringer Mannheim and was initially approved in the U.S. in 1995. On October 20, 2006, the FDA approved an extended release formulation. Medical use Carvedilol is indicated in the management of congestive heart failure CHF, commonly as an adjunct to angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitor ACE inhibitors, and diuretics. It has been clinically shown to reduce mortality and hospitalizations in people with CHF. The mechanism behind its positive effect when used long-term in clinically stable CHF patients is not fully understood, but is thought to contribute to remodeling of the heart, improving upon its structure and function. In addition, carvedilol is indicated in the treatment of hypertension and to reduce risk of mortality and hospitalizations in a subset of people following a heart attack. It can be used alone or with other antihypertensive agents. Side effects The most common side effects greater than 10% incidence include dizziness, fatigue, low blood pressure, diarrhea, weakness, slowed heart rate. Weight gain Erectile dysfunction Carvedilol is not recommended for people with uncontrolled bronchospastic disease e.g. current asthma symptoms as it can block receptors that assist in opening the airways. Carvedilol may mask symptoms of low blood sugar, hypoglycemia, resulting in hypoglycemia unawareness. This is termed beta blocker induced hypoglycemia unawareness. Contraindications According to the FDA, carvedilol should not be used in people with bronchial asthma or bronchospastic conditions. It should not be used in people with second or third degree AV block, sick sinus syndrome, severe bradycardia, unless a permanent pacemaker is in place, or a decompensated heart condition. People with severe hepatic impairment are also advised to not take carvedilol. Mechanism of action Carvedilol is both a non-selective beta-adrenergic receptor blocker, beta-1, beta-2, and an alpha-adrenergic receptor blocker, alpha-1. The S enantiomer accounts for the beta-blocking activity whereas the S and R plus enantiomer have alpha-blocking activity. Carvedilol reversibly binds to beta-adrenergic receptors on cardiac myocytes. Inhibition of these receptors prevents a response to the sympathetic nervous system, leading to decreased heart rate and contractility. This action is beneficial in heart failure patients where the sympathetic nervous system is activated as a compensatory mechanism. Carvedilol blockade of alpha-1 receptors causes vasodilation of blood vessels. This inhibition leads to decreased peripheral vascular resistance and an antihypertensive effect. There is no reflex tachycardia response due to carvedilol blockade of beta-1 receptors on the heart. Pharmacokinetics. Carvedilol is about 25% to 35% bioavailable following oral administration due to extensive first-pass metabolism. The compound is metabolized by liver enzymes, CYP2D6 and CYP2C9 via aromatic ring oxidation and glucuronidation, then further conjugated by glucuronidation and sulfation. The three active metabolites exhibit only one-tenth of the vasodilating effect of the parent compound. However, the 4-hydroxyphenyl metabolite is about 13-fold more potent in blockade than the parent. The mean half-life of carvedilol following oral administration ranges from 7 to 10 hours. 
The pharmaceutical product is a mix of two enantiomorphs, R plus carvedilol and S carvedilol, with differing metabolic properties. R plus carvedilol undergoes preferential selection for metabolism, which results in a fractional half-life of about 5 to 9 hours, compared with 7 to 11 hours for the S carvedilol fraction. The majority of carvedilol is bound to plasma proteins, 98%, mainly to albumin. Carvedilol is a basic, hydrophobic compound with a steady state volume of distribution of 115 L plasma clearance ranges from 500 to 700 milliliters per minute. Absorption is slowed when administered with food, however, it does not show a significant difference in bioavailability. Taking carvedilol with food decreases the risk of orthostatic hypotension. Formulations Tablet, Oral Capsule Extended Release 24-Hour, Oral See also Levetalol, first generation of beta blockers propranolol, second generation of beta blockers atenolol References Further reading External links Physician's Desk Reference Info on Carvedilol Info on Carvedilol through RxList.com